I'm Michael Skipper with the National Weather Service here in northern Indiana. It's 7 o'clock on Tuesday, April 4th. I want to take the next couple of minutes to bring you up to date on the late, latest forecast information concerning severe weather potential for tonight through Wednesday night. So to start out with, we're looking at the potential for a significant tornado outbreak Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. However, before that occurs, we do have some severe storms possibly to deal with tonight. And these storms are basically going to be west of Highway 31. Uh, and they may have some large hail as well as isolated damaging wind gusts. However, the big show comes tomorrow, Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening, where we're looking at conditions favorable for tornadoes to develop with long track EF2. So that means wind speeds over 110 miles an hour with tornadoes. Uh, it's, uh, alongside the tornadoes, there will also be significant hail potential with the large hail being two inches or more in diameter and wind gusts between 60 and 70 miles an hour. One thing to note with these storms, they will be moving very fast, so it may not give you much time to take shelter. So starting with the severe risk tonight, again, it's just for large hail, more isolated west of Highway 31. Otherwise, potential for severe weather is low tonight and the confidence is low. For tomorrow, the Storm Prediction Center has put us in an enhanced risk for severe weather. This is a multifaceted weather event, including large potential for large damaging tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds. A little bit more detailed information for Wednesday. This graphic shows the probability of a significant tornado. That's an EF2, which means the winds are at least 110 miles an hour. And as you can see, it's in, in covering almost all of our area. In addition, to the tornado potential, there is a large hail potential for a large hail of two inches in diameter or larger, as well as the chances for damaging winds. And again, these storms will be, should be moving very fast, at least 60 miles an hour. One last thing I wanted to mention to you this morning is if you are caught outside, the best thing to try to do, especially if a tornado is approaching, is to try to get into a shelter or reinforced area below ground if possible. If that's not possible, try to get inside an inner room under a strong table or reinforced, uh, reinforced object. It's seven o'clock again on Tuesday, April 4th. Thank you for joining me with this multimedia briefing. Forecast information could change at a later time so be sure to check back to our website, weather.gov forward slash IWX for the latest forecast information.